so I'm back here again today. We were getting all the uh, oil level checks and taking oil samples. Let's see, I got uh, all my all my oil samples here. I did low circuits on this chiller. I did both circuits on this chiller. This is RTAA. RTAA. And these two chillers over here is RTAC. RTAC. And here is your oil separator. I've already marked it according to the book. Since this is a 185 ton chiller, the second circuit is gonna be 85 tons. Circuit one over there is the 100 ton. So on the 85 ton, according to the book, your minimum from the bottom of the plate here, right? So from the bottom of the plate, your minimum is three inches, your nominal is six, and your max is seven. So they do a nominal plus one minus four is your range. And the 100 ton, so this is the 100 ton. Okay, on the 100 ton, it would be from the bottom, sorry. From the bottom, seven inches is nominal, plus one, minus three, and that's your range. I'll end up writing it, but uh, just wanted to show you. So six inches on an 85 ton compressor, seven inches on a 100 ton compressor. And I'm getting ready to uh, check the oil level. So on these RTACs, you will need a 3 8 here, quarter inch here. There's my sight glass. And I'll see if I can try and record this while I'm doing it. It's going to be a little difficult. I still want to get uh, the little train hose. It's a clear hose that connects here. so you. You don't need the, uh, the sight glass anymore. The hose is clear, and you can you can see the level a lot easier than with the sight glass. But the sight glass still works. So I'm gonna get this thing all cracked open, and I will uh, try to bring you back if I can do it one-handed. Okay, so if you're using the hoses like this, you have to keep the discharge hose up. as a, like a nice loop and then what you do is you lower down you lower down you lower down the sight glass until you hit your level this is uh frankly not as easy to do uh with one hand but we'll make it work You can see my oil levels filling up. Sorry, this is hard to do one-handed. Anyways, this is pretty hard to do one-handed, but you get the idea. You move this sight glass up and down until you find where your level is. There is my, you can see the 
oil level kind of jiggling around right there above the uh, moisture indicator. Let me bring it up. but uh, it's above the minimum. about a, sh a shade under an uh, inch and a half above the minimum. So this is the oil I just recovered. You can see the refrigerant boiling off on it. It's 134. And uh, what I don't like though is the color of it. It seems to be pretty dark. Like I said, that's the 134 boiling off. have good records these uh, uh this, whatever this lab is you want to let the refrigerant boil off because if you put the cap on it is going to pressure up the jar and ask me how i know uh yeah they will blow up on you And I'm pretty sure you don't want that mess. And that's basically a level check. You do the same style on these RTAAs, except uh, their oil separator is shaped like a U. And these ones are like a canister which is like how these smaller RTAAs are. Yeah, get that sun on it, let, uh, let this refrigerant boil off. I'm gonna put the cap on and leave it a little loose just to bleed off the pressure, but uh, yeah, that's that. So these two RTACs are the exact same size, and I'll show you. RTAC, one, 185 ton, right? Here's your, here's the uh, oil 48, since this is 134A, it's POE oil, right? That's this chiller. Now let's walk over here. Hundred and eighty five tons, same thing. Oil forty eight, same thing. So these should be the same. Now let me show you how much different the oil samples were though, and it gives me a little bit of cause for concern. So these two samples are both from the RTACs, 
Uh, matter of fact, they're both from Circuit 2, which is the 85 ton circuit. And look at the color difference. That looks normal. That does not. Uh, yeah, you can see this is why you do oil analysis right here. That's not uh, the greatest. They should look the same. So we have three different samples here. These two are from the same chiller. Circuit one, circuit two. This one is from a different chiller. These, all three of these are RTACs and all 185 tons. All of them are supposed to have the same oil. Uh, it's train oil number 48, which is POE. These two are closer together, but that one, yeah, I don't like that one. I'm not the biggest fan of this either, but that one really I don't like. That, this one right here looks the most normal. 